Welcome to the party, pal. Your friendly neighborhood, Master Chaos, back with you once again. I've returned to the scene of the crime to pick up another Criterion release. I will tell you what that is at the end of the video. But right now, let's talk about what we're really here to talk about today. I've started a new series on my channel, Master Chaos Theater. On it, I've given myself a pretty epic goal. I'm going to review the entire Zatoichi collection. There are 25 films, which means you can expect 25 episodes of Master Chaos Theater. At least initially, I will continue to do them with other films. I'm thinking of doing the James Bond films as well. Today, on physical media exercise, I will be talking about Spy number 679. This is the complete Satoichi collection. Criterion release. Look at this amazing box right here. Oh my god, beautiful. This is a stunning art piece and probably one of the prettiest boxes I've ever seen when it comes to niche releases that I've ever seen. And I'm so happy to own this. And we're going to dig right into this to wet your whistle for Master Chaos Theater. Found a nice, quiet, shady area to discuss the Zatoichi box set. First, let me open this booklet here so you can get the entire design. There's Zatoichi, and he's dealing with a gambler. As you can see, his dice are split in half. Completely, completely badass. That happens a lot in the series. You'll see if you watch Master Chaos Theater. So let's open it up and see what we got here. It comes in this massive booklet. All the movies, I believe nine discs. So, start off with the first bunch here. First disc has Tale of Zatoichi. The Tale of Zatoichi continues and a New Tale of Zatoichi. And then there's Zatoichi the Fugitive, Zatoichi on the Road, Zatoichi and the Chest of Gold. Then of course you have Zatoichi's Flashing Sword, Fight, Zatoichi Fight, and Adventures of Zatoichi. Somebody's car is getting broken into over there. Then you have Zatoichi's Revenge, Zatoichi and the Doomed Man, and Zatoichi and the Chess Expert. Then of course you have Zatoichi's Vengeance, Zatoichi's Pilgrimage, and Zatoichi's Cane Sword. I'll pause it right here and pop into Barnes & Noble's real quick. Let's take a pause and head on into Barnes & Noble's to pick up my pre-order. This is the entire section here. The Criterion Collection is still the most happening spot. Good movie. Great movie. Oh, this is really good too. My friend, we find ourselves in the entertainment book section, and I wanted to bring your attention to a couple books I'd like to recommend. First, of course, is Hung, Drawn, and Executed. The horror art of Graham uh, Humphreys. This guy has some beautiful pieces. I'll try to do that with one hand. You can sort of get an idea. This is a great coffee table Wah! art book. I'll pick that up. Great coffee table art book. I think you'll enjoy that. And since I dropped it, I will give a shout out to whatever this is as an apology. Eric Idle. Oh, Eric Idle. Oh my god. A sort of biography. Oh, actually, I might buy this. This looks really, really good. Wow, Fate has interjected again. Thank you very much, Fate. I'm buying this. The other book I was going to recommend is the Wes Craven Interviews, edited by Shannon Blake Skelton. 
this is a great read, especially if you are Wes Craven fans, and I'm going to guess most of you people watching are Wes Craven fans. Um, he is actually a very smart guy, very astute. He was a professor, so, you know, his movies may not showcase it, but he's actually a very intelligent man. I mean, I know his movies are sort of sometimes lowest common denominator, which is fine. We love that kind of stuff, but he was kind of a genius, and it's really interesting to, you know, hear his mind working, or in this case, read his thoughts. I'm at the page and screen section, or I should say table. Lots of reading material here that has been adapted into film and TV. I'm curious if anybody has read any of these and what they thought. I honestly, I kind of like the book better, but I was so, so, so on the book and the movie. Honestly, I didn't really love Dr. Sleep, but I had to give it another shot. But I'm curious if anybody's read any of these. Well, Watchmen, of course, that's really good. And uh, what you guys thought of their adaptations. Of course, the movie was better, honestly. But the book is so different. Lock and Key, I still haven't seen that show, but when I find some time, I will. So yeah, let me know. What's your favorite book to movie or TV show adaptation? I'm getting this, and I'm getting this for the kids. Okay, let's continue with this box set. Number 16, Zatoichi the Outlaw. 17, Zatoichi Challenged. 18, Zatoichi and the Fugitives. Beautiful, God, gorgeous. And this is sturdy, by the way. The stuff that holds the discs, very sturdy. Doesn't feel flimsy at all. 19, Samaritan Zatoichi. 20, Zatoichi meets Yojimbo. That's correct, Yojimbo does appear in this. Uh, 21, Zatoichi goes to the Fire Festival. Next, 22, Zatoichi meets the One-Armed Swordsman. That was a great one. 23, Zatoichi at large. 24, Zatoichi in desperation. And then, last but not least, 25, Zatoichi's conspiracy coming in at 1973. This also has the supplements on it as well. A ton of supplements. The series began, I want to say, 62. Yeah, 1962, the Tales of Zatoichi. Like I said, I'll be covering every film 1 through 25 in Master Chaos Theater, so I hope you'll tune in to the first episode, which aired last night, you know, in the real-time airing of this video, depending on when you watch this, of course. So I hope you'll go go back and watch that if you have not seen the first episode of Master Chaos Theater, which features this amazing film series. I stepped into Rite Aid real quick to see if they've started to put out the Halloween stuff. As you can see, they have not, but... They have made some shelf space, so I'm guessing when August rolls in, summer stuff will go bye-bye, Halloween stuff will be appearing shortly. While I'm here, let me give you a couple quick recommendations. Bullet Bourbon is very drinkable, highly recommended. Buffalo Trace is really great. And Templeton Rye, the good stuff, is apparently based on the same recipe that the, the bootleggers used to drink. So, you can't go wrong with this, this, or this. Yummy stuff. We probably need some of this for our exercise routine, right? We definitely want to get the best out of our workout. I don't know where to begin. I usually do whey. But the real question is, where in the hell do they keep the steroids? Right, it of course carries the classic thrifty ice cream, which I'm not sure if you guys ever had, but it's pretty darn good. And while you're at it, I just wanted to congratulate you. You're the best. I like you just the way you are, my friend. The Criterion set would not be complete without, of course, a booklet. Here's our hero, Zatoichi, enjoying some rice. One of his uh, favorite delicacies. The back shows samurai sneaking up behind him. Sort of works like this. Isn't that gorgeous? Man, I wish there was posters for everything on this. This is epic as hell. So let's open this up. This is a 
Hard case. Hard cover. Booklet. Not a flimsy one. Lots of pages here. I'm not going to go through everything, but basically it breaks down the films. Gives you the scholarly writing we, we've come to expect from Criterion. That's about episode 9, Adventure of Satoichi. I mean, it's amazing these movies were shot back to back within like 11 year span. The same actor, Shintaro Katsu, plays Satoichi in all of these. There's a nice page on every film. Details, credits, cast. Satoichi at large. Looks like he's not being well loved in this when they threw a rock at his head. I don't remember, honestly. They all kind of blend together, but I'm really looking forward to digging in with you guys. It's a little bit of a history on the era. Maybe a little short story, I think. I think it might be a short story. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. It's a short story about Zatoichi. That's kind of cool. But, uh, yes. Zatoichi in Desperation. Really beautiful. Elegant. Booklet. Goes along with this epic epic box set that really rivals the Godzilla set in my estimation Wowzers would you look at that ride now that's a hot rod before I forget I'll mention what I picked up in Barnes & Noble's while the sale continues this is H.G. Wells's Things to Come directed by William Cameron Menzies Great science fiction film. I'll pause here so you guys can take a look at the back. Produced by Alexander Korda. Here are the features. Audio commentary and an interview. Visual essay about the score. Um, interesting. I haven't seen this in a long time. I want to say 1930-something, 36. haven't seen this film in a long time, but it's a part of the collection, and now it is a part of my collection. It is spine number 660, and it's a beautiful, beautiful cover. I'm very happy to own it. It has nothing to do with Zatoichi, but just wanted to show you what I picked up, because I promised I would. That is a damn shame. One day, one day movie theaters will be open all over the world. It is desolate. Pretty depressing. Of course, the world is in a very bad spot and entertainment must be found at home. Of course, the most reliable form of entertainment, physical media. We would have seen these two movies already. This one would have come out this week, I believe. Jungle Cruise, doesn't look too bad. Fun cast, I'm excited for it. And of course, the remake of Candyman, which I don't know about you guys, but I'm not very excited about. Look at all these goddamn turtles. Hey guys. That'll do for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed discussing the Satoichi Criterion box set. Fantastic piece. It screams to be on everyone's shelf. Technically, they're not samurai movies or Yakuza crime films, but you know, with the trappings of a samurai film, you'll have to watch Master Chaos Theater to see a more in depth look at the films themselves. Let me stop at this lovely fountain here while we round out the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't have this, I suggest getting it if you love Japanese cinema and just balls to the wall, really heavy, dramatic action films. This is your movie right here. Your movie collection, I should say. If you're new here, welcome. We have daily shows, tons of fun content. I hope you'll sub and stick around. I do have a 300 sub contest going on right now. If I get to 300 subs by August 1st, I will pick one of my subscribers, ask them to pick a charity, and I will donate $20 to the charity of their choice. Makes me thirsty. If you're old here, welcome back. It's good to see you, my friend. Please drop me a like if you enjoyed this particular adventure. 
And please do join me for Master Chaos Theater, where I will go more in depth on the films. I'll be showing clips, but I won't be doing any big spoilers. I just want to whet your appetite for the film, give you a really well-rounded picture of it. Hopefully, pique your interest enough to track the films down yourself and maybe watch them alongside with me or, who knows, maybe buy the Criterion set at the next big 50% off sale, which is currently happening still. For now, this is your friendly neighborhood, Master Chaos, signing off. I hope this video finds you happy, healthy, and well. Until tomorrow, I wish you a very pleasant good night, wherever you are.